What's up guys and today we got the Pro Bowl legend Derek Johnson 96 overall Kansas City and tackle machine chemistry 6'3 88 speed 95 awareness 87 block shed 88 hit power 89 zone 95 play rec 91 tackle 95 pursuit and I believe he does also have a very very nice you can see right here 89 zone man that is big time now before I get this going guys I am very very sick right now I got a bad cold so if I sound a little weird that's that, that's why but um, anyways, the first thing, of course, that I wanted to test out, as many of you guys know, I run a heavy zone defense. And look at this reaction. Look how, how fast he gets the ball and knocked it down. I would have wished that he would have picked it off, but you know what? The SWAT, I guess, is the next best thing. But his ability to backpedal, like right here, you can see his speed kicking. Look how fast he backpedals, man, and gets that, that uh, pass knocked down. So if you run a heavy zone defense, man, Derek Johnson is definitely a linebacker fee. But you see right there, sometimes he will drop passes. Now when it came to tackling and the hit stick, he got like maybe six hit sticks. Unfortunately, zero fumbles. But you know what? I don't even care about that. Tackling is more important to me than hit stick. I mean, of course, I would like to have fumbles. But just trust me, obviously, tackling is a very important thing. Especially with all these crazy running backs coming out, these power backs and whatnot. You need a guy like this who can get the secure tackle. So I think he had like maybe one or two tackles break free. But trust me, way more tackles than lost. But I think the number one thing he did, man, is his pursuit, which obviously mixes into the tackling and everything else. His pursuit angles were amazing, man. What he did best, I think, besides pursuit, was his ability to avoid blockers. So many times, especially especially on plays like halfback tosses or bounces to the outside. Look at that. He shot through the offensive line. But anyways, on halfback tosses, like right here, you can see him right there. He loops under the offensive line and gets attacked. He did that so many times, like right here. He's going to do it again. He's going to go under the offensive line, avoid the blocks, and get that tackle in the backfield. And that's what I'm talking about. That's how you play a linebacker. So that's going to wrap this up, guys. And right now, he goes for like around 500,000. That is a lot of coins, half a million coins. And he's definitely a great player, but right now, he's definitely a luxury player. Of course, if you got the coins and you just don't give a damn, I say go for it. He's going to perform no matter what. But if you're on a budget, I say go with someone like, you know, Erlach or he's like half the price. That Paul Puzlonski or Puzlonski, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The guy from the Jaguars. You know, I'm currently reviewing him as well. I've only played like one game with Puzlonski, and that guy is playing phenomenal, man. That guy is a budget beast, no doubt about the way he's playing. But anyways, guys, as far as my next review on defense, like I said, it's going to be Puzlonski and Willie McGinnis and the uh, team of the year, Eric Berry. And on offense it's going to be jimmy graham and the team of the week david johnson the 93 overall one but anyways guys i'll see you boys later thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you like what you saw i'll see you boys later man peace